Hi guys, it's that time again. Which is better? And I'm, and it's going to be an atheist special, and it'll be between peaceful time and a questionable presence. And before I continue, I will be leaving links in the description to check out songs by Intuned, and leave a link to check out my Instagram and Twitter pages. There you get to see what songs I'm listening to, as well as what my band merch collection looks like. So looking at the Peace of Time album, it is said that the early albums of most bands are just a starter before the next albums. Well, maybe so, but it's difficult to judge everyone in this way, especially when it comes to a band like Atheist. This band has made such a debut like, like that to such a trivial of phrases that it just simply doesn't fit and can even be harmful. During the death metal boom, Atheist turned out to be an extraordinary band in this trend and quite innovative as well, even from a later perspective, unusual, unusual sounding that is. After all, at, at the time they were proposed something that was way beyond the norm. Their recipe for death metal in their performance was quite specific. Time is a death metal album that's still very steeped in the speed and aggression and characteristic for thrash metal, especially in terms of dicing riffs and Kelly Schieff as vocals that are on verge of fresh and occur a desk walk. On the other side, for the technical traits, irregular rhythms, jazz deviations, but also minus and rawness, the point is that this deaf jazz mix really sticks together and none of these components dominate the others. The other thing is that in the later years, the cause it did not suffer from more technique. The talent to create hits in this style and their number says for itself and the, the genius of this album. Songs like Unholy War, The Truth, Room Review, On They Slay, and I Deny are just some of the awesomeness on this album. It shouldn't be surprising, however, because with the kind of score that this band has, it's obvious that they would make an absolutely explosive mixture out of it. I did make a slight note about the front man, but not the quality of his riffs. But they're excellent by the way and also give praise to the other members as well the sophisticated photos of Rand Berkey and the Jesse style playing of Steve Flynn but above all the bass and madness of Roger Patterson who often comes to the fore and goes with technical twigs in fact even the atmosphere and sound make a great impression and add additional originality to the music and I don't really have any objections regarding this album the individuals from this band on their debut simply Perfected death and thrash metal with sounds with unique progression and at the same time created a piece of excellent music which even after many years makes no less impression. Interestingly, their vision didn't stop there. Which again is going to look at the Unquestionable Presence album. The period accompanying their first album was varied for Atheist. First, the problems with its release, which was caused by Active Records. And a very good reception of the disc, a series of concerts, tours, and so on. Critical composing material for the next album, and then Roger Patterson died in a car accident. R.I.P. Obviously, it was a huge loss for the band, and I don't think we needed to be reminded of this musician's talent, but Avis decided to continue working on another album. And another, another bass player, Tony Choi, joined the band. It was with him that another work was completed this album. Musically, it's an interesting topic. In two years, the band has made a tremendous progress and has shown that what was previously perfect can actually be improved even further. The production feels different, but it's still good, although Scott Burns and his Morris sound are still responsible for it. The fresh speeds got rid of, which makes this album sound slower, and Shaver's vocals became much more deftly and songs themselves even more interesting than before. So the deaf jazz performed by Atheist became much more twisted to begin with and even more difficult to listen to thus more, much less obvious. It means that the number of squiggles per song has increased several times and a bit of attention on the part of the listener may result in misunderstanding the album even more than on the debut. On the other side, from questionable presence there is no question of point of technique. Individuals from Atheist knew their capabilities so much that they knew how to weave it into simpler, closer classical pa playing patterns. There was a lot going on. 
the best thing is that when you listen to to songs like Brains and Incarnation's Dream, Mother Man, a formative years, it doesn't feel like it, it's got excess in them. And he should just came out about so naturally that the elements gave the album catchiness. I'll even say that the same thing can be said about the first album, Peace of Time. Despite the great use of the technique, Kenny Schaefer and the rest of the band knew how to turn progressive and technical wonders into death metal sounds so as to not lose the sense. For the second time in a row, they managed to create a very advanced and demanding album. At the same time, one that is a great listen to and that's what technical music is all about. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought was the better album. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.